Oh, we have bad news for Greta Thunberg and the World Economic Forum hippies with their net zero agenda, militant agenda. Because Glastonbury, first of all, essentially ignored their orders. They completely made a mess when they went to Glastonbury. As usual, look at this image. This was done by the same millennial and Generation Z hippies who are telling us that we should stop uh, heating our homes. We should basically stay like being cold. We should start eating insects and worms instead of food and real food and completely change our lifestyle because we only have two months to save the planet, right? Basically, or eight months. I don't know. It keeps changing. Yet, they had this. 5,000 tents, 6,500 sleeping bags, all plasticky, 400 gazebos, 54 tons of cans and plastic bottles. Overall, basically about 1,650 tons of rubbish was left on the ground. These are our climate saviors. These are the people who are trying to save our planet and us from ourselves. Now, unfortunately, this backfired because they, they, are, they, they preach, but they don't really practice. They are hypocrites. Now, this is the best one. Electric vehicle chargers for electric cars at Glastonbury. 50 pounds an hour to use, powered by diesel generator. <laughs> I mean, you do see the problem. Do, do they see the problem? I'm sure they do. I'm sure they don't care. They don't really care about any of this. They care about this Marxist utopia. This is all part of the game. It makes no sense. Look at the next one. This is my favorite before we get to Greta Thunberg and also Paul McCartney. <clears throat> we'll get to Paul McCartney in a second. This was actually from a year ago, a couple of years ago. It's a fence. It's an actual border. It's a wall around uh, Glastonbury Festival. It says, I don't see any borders. Do you? You literally put your banner on the fence, on, on Glastonbury Festival's border, that you have to pay hundreds of pounds ticket entry, which means that, you know, real people can't afford that. You're going to have your uh, posh middle class champagne socialist spoiled kids to go there, put a banner up there saying that I don't see any borders. Do you? <laughs> I mean, I really hope they see the problem. I hope, because otherwise I'll lose all respect for their self-awareness. Because I don't know which one's worse, if they don't know, or if they know and completely ignore it. Now, their saviour, Greta Thunberg, who didn't even bother dressing up, what, what is she wearing? She was on the stage. She made a speech. And she didn't probably wash her hair. I'm not really sure what's going on with her. She was a middle-class Swedish kid. You know, had, you know, had a good upbringing. Now she's a hippie. I think it's the, the whole Gandhi factor, that you, know, you have to basically uh, act, act like you're humble. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm basically like Buddha. <laughs> Makes no sense. But I have a bigger problem with this idiot. So Paul McCartney went on stage and started waving the Ukrainian flag. And following his brave move, Putin announced that he is now surrendering to Ukraine. And he's a, a, a massively sorry. He apologized for his actions. And he said that until I saw Paul McCartney waving that Ukrainian flag, I didn't know what I was doing. Well, thank you, Paul McCartney, for showing me the, the light. <laughs> Why? Why are we doing this? What is happening to the clown world? Clown world run by Greta and Paul McCartney's these sort of types. Oh dear God. Okay, so this was a light-hearted video update. We're gonna come back in half an hour. We're gonna be the big news of the day. It involves Lord David Frost finally, finally making a move against Boris Johnson's government. Subscribe to the channel on my TCN We are the media.